Hunk and Scroll setup. The scroll out for Hunk gives users several benefits, including rapid visualization, reporting, and dashboarding development, indexing on the fly, end to end security, including Accumulo's cell level security capabilities. Uh, of course, since Accumulo is in memory layer on top of Hadoop, fast queries is uh, a great benefit. And lastly, the ability to use graph. To set up the scroll up for hunk, we need four pieces of software. The first one is the scroll VM. We can get that through the scroll website and on the upper right side you will see a link to test drive VM which will give you the opportunity to request that virtual machine. The second one is Hunk itself. We will need to download Hunk from splunk.com slash download slash Hunk. The third one is the application itself, the scroll up for Hunk. You can find that under apps.splunk.com and look for scroll. And the last one is the data itself. To get the data loaded into the VM, we will log into the virtual machine itself, cd to training underscore data. In there, we will see the nrun mbox restricted that JSON file. We will then cd to the scroll client directory and we can run the client utils and then upload that particular file into the scroll engine which will store it in Accumulo under the covers. After examining the data, we need to do one more step before we can start with the installation of the application and that is we need to add a test user as the delegator. Delegator means the ability to go from hunk to scroll software as a particular person. And in this case, the delegator username is going to be called test. So in order for us to add test as the delegator, we need to type scroll admin we will need to type set config scroll dot shiro dot config dot scroll dot scroll dot permitted dot delegation dot user equals test. After that, to commit our changes, we will need to run this command. Once we have done that, we are all set to start the setup. We're going to log into Hunk, and we're going to go into the apps on the upper left corner, and click on the Manage Apps. From there, we're going to select the Install App from File. And we're going to upload the app into the Hunk UI. Once that is done, if we select the Splunk logo in the upper left corner, we will be able to see the Scroll Connect as a new app that was added to the Hunk setup. We go into Settings on the upper right corner of the Hunk UI. Select the Virtual Indexes link. Under Providers, we see a new option called Scroll Localhost with the provider family set to scroll family. In there, we see all the different flags that will set for us by default. And under the virtual indexes, we see a new example that will allow us to pull data from scroll. However, before we start with adding flags to the setup, Let's discuss the different options that this connector enabled us. Looking at the different configuration options that we have, we can see two main 
options for provider. The first one is called the scroll ELP, which is the main entry point to run most of scroll searches for documents. The other one is a scroll graph ELP that enabled us to search for graphs instead of documents. So we can look at edges. Under the scroll ELP provider, we see several different options for virtual index, including the query, the database, the query that time field, which allows us to select time from within the document itself, as well as query that strip result visibility, which allows us to go in and determine whether or not the user can see the, um, the labels themselves. Underneath the uh, graph ELP, we have other flags that we can use. For example, the graph that max for source will allow us to limit the number of edges that the provider will give us. And finally, we can also set the graph that labels, which will allow us to limit the visibility of specific labels. For example, if we do not want people to see the label called private, we can eliminate that from the search. Looking at the scroll shell, we can see where we can find some of those value for our flags. For example, dataset and run restricted will be the value for our dataset flag. Same thing goes for strip result visibility. Do we want our users to see the label or not? The date can be auto extract using Splunk or be specified based on the content of the file itself. Looking back into our provider, we will need to do minor modification based on the user test that we enable to delegate on the behalf of Hunk. We're going to have to change the username and the password for that user to be instead of delegator to being test and save that. In addition, in the virtual indexes, we're going to create a new virtual index. We're going to give it a name called scroll underscore enron underscore restricted. And we're going to have a single flag in here called vix that scroll that query that data set equal to enron restricted base on the data that we populated scroll. Save that and now we can search for that particular data set. As we can see within a few seconds the data is going to start streaming from the scroll accumulator connector into the hunk UI and indexing is done immediately and on the fly. We can then go in and filter out some date. For example, we can just specify that we just care for a subset of a data that, uh, in my case, I can just say that happened only during 2002. And again, the uh, adapter will go in and pull just that subset of the data. We can then go in and further just look for emails that came from Kenneth Lay again. We can then go in and ask Hunk to analyze and visualize the data by adding, a, for example, using the top command from Hunk, search through that data and visualize it for us. And we can then look at that data as it gets generated. We can change the visualization. We can go in and save it as a report, as a dashboard, as an alert. So you can then do a very meaningful analytics on top of the data in Accumulo. After creating the searches and reports, we can easily leverage the Hunk dashboard to visualize the data. For example, we can go in and plot our graph into uh, a D3 visualization. We can go in and drill down into the details of each one of the nodes and the distance between that one and any other node in the graph. 
furthermore we can go in and plot our points into a map and leverage the nice visualization that hunk provide us including drill down into any elements to find any update on this integration feel free to go to splunk.com and under product you'll see the link to hunk go into the scroll website and look for any update and finally go into apps.splunk.com and type in scroll and that will give you a direct link to the scroll app for hunk thank you